Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and today I'm going to be messing around a little bit with some strings on this guitar which is a 1970 something uh, Bradley sort of double cut, quite a Gibson Les Paul sort of style guitar. And I've got this strung currently with a set of these Ernie Ball hybrid slinkies. So these are sort of like a regular 9 set on the top, 9, 11, 16 and then 26, 36, 46 on the bottom. A little bit heavier on the bottom, uh, so you know, bigger chord sounds. And I've actually got on this guitar, I've actually got everything tuned down by semitone. So everything's down, it's so like E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Quite a nice sound as it is. Um... <laughs> for is something that gives me better sound uh, on overdrive. So I've got the dirty channel on my amp and kicking a, I've got a Digitech Bad Monkey down there on the floor adding a bit of extra gain and boost into the signal and get something that sounds like this. <laughs> That sounds okay, but I'm not so keen on on these strings. I want to try something a little bit different. Thinking about tuning down a little bit further, um, you know, maybe take it, everything down uh, from a regular tuning down a couple of a couple of semitones to a D tuning, and maybe it's even dropping the bottom string down another semitone or so. So you know, take it like a drop C sharp. That will sound interesting, I think, but strings like these hybrid slinkies are just too thin. So I'm thinking about changing up. Now I went to uh, the local music store, went to the music gallery in Berwick, which is my local music store, and they recommended these. This is actually a seven string set, which I've never really used a lot of sound strings, but this is 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 46, and 56. So what the plan is with these strings is string it up using the top three strings, miss the fourth, and then go to the bottom three strings, which would be the equivalent of the A, E, and low B string on seven string set. So tens on top gives a little bit of uh, more slinkiness, if you like, for lead playing, but thicker strings on the, the bottom, so bigger, thicker chord sounds, at least that's the idea. Now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried the sound strings before. I'm intrigued to see how these sound. Now, I'm also intrigued a little bit about the packaging on these because I can hear something rattling. It sounds like silica gel. So what I'm going to do is just quickly open up the packet and we'll see what we've got in here. Okay, so the strings are packaged in like a foil, uh, foil cum plastic sort of container. No separate packaging for the strings themselves. There is a little pack of silica gel to keep the strings dry. So these are, like it says on the packet, foil fresh, long life. So they should be nice and bright when I put them onto the guitar. So what I'll do now, turn the camera off, take the guitar down onto the bench, swap the strings over, then we'll come back and see how it sounds. Okay, so back with a freshly strung guitar. Um, as you might expect, going from something which has got 9 46s to something which has got 10 on the top, we're going down to 56 on the bottom. There's a lot more tension on the, on the strings than there was before. So a little bit of messing around with uh, general sort of setup things like truss rod adjustment, string height, intonation, all the sort of thing that you generally do in a, in a setup. And first impressions are quite interesting. Um, these are a lot heavier on the bottom than I uh, had before. So I've actually taken this tuned down uh, a whole step. So I've got D, A, F, C, G, 
and clean sound, quite nice. Having the, the thinner strings on the top, uh, it's like I think it's 10, 13, 17, I think it's, I think it's said on the packet. Um, these have still got quite a, a nice lead sort of feel, really easy to bend. Uh, especially being tuned down uh, a couple of semitones is pretty much the same tension wise to playing a regular set of nines. On the bottom though, things really do thicken up. I've got a lot more tension on these strings, even though they're these bottom three strings, uh, even though they're tuned down to semitones. If you consider these are the, like the bottom three strings off of a seven string guitar, yeah, they are pretty thick. They're, they're going to be quite tight. Clean, quite nice sound. Uh, but where it really comes into its own is with the dirty sound. So I've got the dirty channel on the amp. Again, I'm going to kick in a bit of uh, overdrive from the Bad Monkey pedal. And that feels really good to play. There's a lot more tension uh, on those strings than there would be otherwise you know, with a lighter gauge string. So if volume tuned down to a uh, a D, a G and C on the bottom three strings, nice and tight because I'm playing heavy gauge strings so it sounds really heavy. Combination of the thicker strings and the lower tuning, um, but because of the, the strings are a bit thicker, they're quite tight, so it feels quite nice and natural to play. There's a little bit of um, I feel like the strings are fighting back just that little bit because there's, there's still the tension in them. So quite a nice experiment that. Uh, seven string set, take the middle one out, restring a six string guitar. I think that's an experiment that works. I'm going to have fun uh, playing with this. I have to say the tuning stability is pretty good. I've got the guitar strung up and you know obviously stretch the strings and tune up. Keep uh, playing and stretching a little bit but they've actually seemed to have settled down quite nicely. So for the first first time I can recall in a long, 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 long time, I've played rotor sound strings. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. They feel good, sound good, tuning stability seems pretty good. Um, so I'm going to keep messing around on this uh, this guitar. I think we're going to have fun, but yeah, as an experiment, the seven string set on the six string guitar definitely works. So what I am going to try is just quickly go to the tuner, and I'm going to tune this bottom string down to a C. So this is effectively the same as being in drop D tuning normally, but everything's down to semitones. So I think this bottom end is going to sound pretty, pretty big. Yeah, that sounds good. Plenty of tension in the in the strings with them being nice and thick, so it'll stand being tuned down a little bit more. So that's. Uh, basically standard tuning everything down to semitones apart from the bottom string which is down four uh, taking it down to a C quite interesting okay so just a quick video there um, if you liked it please click like subscribe comment all the various options that YouTube gives you down there and if you've got a suggestion for a future video or anything that you'd like to ask me then if you go here there's a form you can fill in and you can send your question in I'll try and get around to answering it as soon as I can in a future video Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.